Good morning, everyone. Today I will be presenting on Donate Life Ohio. Donate Life Ohio is a nonprofit organization. They are in partnership with Ohio's organ, tissue, and eye recovery agencies, and their goal is to educate Ohioans about the need for more organ donors in Ohio. More than 3,000 people in Ohio are waiting for a tissue or organ donation at any given time. So Donate Life Ohio collaborated with a trust fund and a public relations agency in Ohio to determine how a communication campaign can motivate Ohioans to become registered organ donors. With help from the PR agency, they began the Do It Now campaign And this initiative was a statewide campaign across Ohio that included 13 different universities. Each university had its own team that had a specific number of new registrants based on population within its prospective region. Students were set with this daunting challenge of creating a difficult behavioral change among thousands of Ohio residents within a short time frame but the students were inspired by the worthy cause that they were supporting. And this specific case study that the the textbook goes over is about the Kent State University's research towards the Do It Now campaign. The main objective of this campaign throughout all the different universities was to bring awareness and to meet their goal. So the Kent State University's goal was 10,000 750 new registered donors. I tried to find some additional resources based on the research of this case study, but I could not find anything that seemed pretty credible, so I just stuck to what the textbook said. So throughout their primary and secondary research, the Kent State students identified some possible challenges they would have with this campaign. And the first one was lack of awareness. So audiences were aware of what organ donation was and like the benefits of it, but they didn't understand the need for it, especially in the Ohio area. Next was the sensitivity regarding the manner. A lot of people in the area reported like being talked to from the Bureau of Motor Vehicles in an impersonal manner regarding this touchy subject, which really put them off. So sensitivity was one of the key obstacles in this to get to audiences. Next was misconceptions. Some people believe that their religious beliefs restricted organ donation. However, most major religions do support organ donations. And if people didn't think this, they thought that individuals who designated themselves as organ donors would put themselves at risk for less thorough medical treatment and so by informing people they wanted to kind of put down these misconceptions so that people would be more inclined to sign up and lastly it's just an uncomfortable conversation a lot of it it kind of has to do with mortality and they didn't really want to get into that and more so the help that this could do so next going into key strategies the Kent State Campus went into what they called the hero campaign because what signing up to be an organ donor was such a heroic thing and it is such a heroic thing and that's what they wanted to focus on. They wanted to focus less on the mortality and someone dying and more about the heroic thing about doing something good and creating more life and opportunity for people to live longer with these organ donations. The next thing they wanted to do is use credible information and personal stories to encourage the community and that kind of hinders the penetration of these misconceptions into people's minds. And lastly, they wanted to involve people. They went to a lot of games like basketball and sporting events to reach students at where they were or their target audiences, which we'll get to next. But they wanted to see these people face to face and explain that we are not some online entity. The primary audiences for this hero campaign was the Kent State Recreation and Wellness Center 
the general Kent State community and African Americans who attended church. And then the secondary audience was anyone who was affiliated or is an organ organ donor and also medical professionals and the clergy. Going into the results of the campaign, there are over a hundred volunteers, and this is across sororities, fraternities, sports teams, your average volunteers, clubs. They had over a hundred volunteers help with this hero campaign, whether it was following, showing support, making t-shirts, making signs. So that was a big come out for them for volunteers. They had a flash mob featured in the showcase, and a picture and caption was featured on the Times Square, like those digital boards, which is the largest sign in the world. So that garnered a lot of attention for the campaign. And overall, the campaign reached over 2.1 million people. It exceeded the goal of 10,750, coming in at 12,500. These are my other sources outside of the book. And thank you guys for listening.